Welcome to Beyond Black History Month. I'm your host, Femi Redwood. There's an apartment complex in my neighborhood called Ebbets Field. It used to be a baseball stadium that was home to the Brooklyn Dodgers. Often when I walk past, I wonder what it must have been like to be a black child in 1947, hoping to catch a glance or hear the play of Jackie Robinson, who's credited with being the first black man to play on a major league baseball team. His first game with the Brooklyn Dodgers was April 11th, 1947, where he rocked the number 42 on his jersey. After him, more and more black players joined the league. But 75 years later, MLB still has a race problem. At first, the number of black players increased. In 1981, according to the Society for American Baseball Research, 18.7% of MLB players were African American. Today, that number is closer to 7%. Let's start at the beginning at the Negro Leagues. The Negro Leagues were where mostly African Americans, but some Afro-Latinos, could play professional baseball, because obviously, major league teams weren't always integrated. I played for the New York Black Yankees and the Indianapolis Clowns. 87-year-old W. James Cobbin played in the Negro Leagues. He is the epitome of history come alive. Even if it didn't feel like it at the time, the Negro Leagues and its players weren't exactly rolling in dough. If you knew anything about the Negro League, money is something we never had. And the Negro League, that's, that's one of the problems. We didn't have any money. He made $165 a month. White Major League players, on the other hand, made between $300 and $2,000 a month. And that didn't even include their food stipend. But black players dealt with a low pay because they loved the game. I do know that when the bus, our bus pulled into town, we had people like mad watching us get off the bus, want to sign autographs and shake your hands. And the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum began in 1990. Ray Doswell is the vice president of the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum in Kansas City. He says black folks were playing baseball before emancipation. Even during the time of slavery, African Americans certainly could see and witness the game and free blacks could see and witness the game and ultimately began to participate in the game themselves. He says the organization we now know as MLB began to form in the 1880s. The teams were mostly all white, but there were a few black players, some who passed as white, but not Moses Fleetwood Walker, a.k.a. Fleet. While Jackie Robinson was the first black man to play on a modern-day MLB team, Fleet was the first black man to play in the major leagues in 1884. 